and welcome back to my channel so in today's video I'm going to be doing a March favourite so all the products I've been liking since the month of March now I've got quite a few skincare products in this video because I've been I've been liking quite a lot of skincare products in March and um, I've just been trying a lot of things lately to like clear up my skin because my skin has been really bad and I feel like it's getting to the stage where it's getting a little bit better now. Products have really helped with my skin. I don't know how, but they have really helped. So I just want to like show you what I've been using. Um, now I used to break out a lot. Like I, I get a lot of breakouts. I get a breakout almost every single day. So since using these products, I feel like they've really cleared up my skin. So the first thing I'm going to mention is a toner. So this is the Pixi Glow Tonic uh, Toner. I bought this a while ago actually, I bought this a few months ago, but for some reason like, I started breaking out when I was using it. So I stopped using it and then I started using it again, like near, near the beginning of March kind of thing. So I've been using this um, after I've like cleansed my skin and I go in with a cotton pad and apply this all over my face. And this has 5% glycolic acid in it. So it's an exfoliating toner. I probably wouldn't recommend to use this every single day, although I have been using it every day. And I feel like it has like helped my skin texture. After this, I go in with my, I go in with the ordinary 100% rose hip seed oil. Now, this is the oil and I've got combination skin. So at first I was like, oh my God, like an, I put in an oil on top of like oily skin. But this has, this, I think this is what has cleared up my skin. I think this is, this has just worked miracles. And where I heard about this first on, um, on Nikia Joy's um, video and I love Nikia Joy because she's got oily skin I can kind of relate to her and the products she recommends and she says using an oil actually makes your skin less oily so what I've been what I've been doing is I've been applying this after I've used my toner before I go to bed so I just apply two drops I put it all over my face and then I go to sleep but I think this is what's helped because Rose hip seed oil, like it's not designed for blemish prone skin, but it does help with um, hyperpigmentation as well. And I have, I have a lot of um, like blemish scars from when I've popped my blemishes, and it's left a scar. And I think this has really, really helped to reduce those scars as well. So not only has it reduced the pigmentation, it's also reduced for me from getting blemishes. I don't know how, but it's just amazing and when I finish this I mean I'm, I've used half of it already you only need a tiny bit so this this little bottle lasts a really long time but um this is only like nine pounds it's so cheap I know you can get rosehip seed oil in places like Holland and Barrett but they're a lot more expensive and this is like 100% rosehip seed oil there's nothing else added to it so if you have um blemish prone skin I would suggest trying this oil because it has it has worked miracles on me and I will continue to use so it. So the next two products are like um, face washes and scrubs. So face wash I've been liking quite a lot is the Garnier Skin Active Purifying Gel Wash, the green tea one. And this is for combination to oily skin. Now, if you don't know, green tea is actually good for uh, combination oily skin and I really like the smell of it as well so yeah I just really like this as like a face wash basically in mornings when I wash my face to get rid of the residue of the oil and it really helps like make your skin feel really clean and really fresh and it's got a really nice smell to it as well uh, L'Oreal smooth scrub clear scrub the one with the kiwi seeds in it so it's got like little kiwi seeds in it and it smells amazing. Now this product I only use a few times a week. I don't use it every day because it is a, that is a scrub. 
so it's got like sugar particles and um yeah but basically just helps to i mean on here it says to says to purify and lift blackheads so it's basically just how i use this is i use it a few times a week after i use my cleanser after you rinse it off and you touch your skin it feels baby soft i don't know i don't know what it is but this this product i've been really loving as like an exfoliator it is really really nice i don't know whether this has helped with my with my skin clearing up but um it's pretty much what i've been using pretty much. finally the last skincare product i'm going to mention is a face mask and this is another garnier product and this is the garnier skin active tissue mask and this is for normal to combination skin now this one i feel like they kind of like go together because they've both got green tea in them but this one has got a green tea extract hydrochloric acid and hydrating glycerin so um i've been using face masks like pretty much once a week and i've really liked i really really like this one put them on you do look a little bit look a bit scary like you look like you're from a horror film but um yeah i feel like i feel like all these steps have really helped like reduce my breakout significantly loving. and now there's two foundations that i've been loving uh in march one of them is a new discovery and one of them is an old favorite but i've started using it again first one i'm gonna mention is the makeup revolution fast base stick and i did a review on this and i was very very impressed with this foundation and how well it covered like it covered really well and i've got the shade f10 because i'm tanned at the moment i use the shade f10 um obviously the only thing about this is you don't really get much product but um i do I, I use this quite a lot if i want something really fast and i'm going somewhere but not somewhere fancy kind of thing because it's so cheap i feel i don't feel bad using it so it's just one of those foundations where i want to even out my skin tone but i'm not going anywhere special kind of thing so i really i really loved using this it does tend to get a little bit oily i'm not gonna lie because i've got a combination i've got an oily t-zone i do start to get quite oily with this this is the only foundation i feel like gets very oily with my skin but it's a foundation that i don't wear for more than a few hours it's not a foundation that i would wear if i'm going out somewhere that i'm going to be out for hours and hours it's it's great for it's a great foundation if you're going to wear it for a few hours and only running like some errands and taking a short trip somewhere so i feel like it's really great for that another foundation is basically a foundation that i've loved since it came out and since i bought it which was last year but um i kind of stopped using it for a few months and i've, I've started using it quite a lot fenty beauty foundation now i love this foundation but um for some reason i i wasn't wearing it as much as i used to um but yeah i think i just recently discovered it because like if i'm going on a night out or something this foundation is great like it photographs brilliantly it doesn't need flashback because it doesn't have an spf in it it's great for pictures it's got amazing coverage and it really lasts it doesn't get oily it doesn't get too oily on my skin the going out foundation used to be the max studio fix fluid but i think this has totally beaten it and i love the shade of this as well the shade of this, this is 290 i love this shade i wish more brands would do a, it's just like a um it's like an olive undertone it's not overly yellow or golden it's got like a an olive undertone and a lot of brands don't do that and this really really matches me so well when i'm tanned like i, I just love the shade of this and i just love this foundation in general and i've been using it a lot lately another product i've been liking is a primer now this is the maybelline superstay primer um yeah i've I've really liked this primer it's quite liquidy it's quite a liquidy primer but um once you put it on it really like smooths out your skin and when you touch your skin after you put it on it feels really smooth like this this promises to basically yeah even at the skin surface by smoothing it out and it makes your makeup stay fresh and flawless all day long now yeah i, I would agree with that it does make my makeup I have noticed it has made my makeup look a lot better, a lot more smooth, 
and yeah no there isn't really much I can say about this primer but I, I do really like it I haven't really found a primer that I like I feel like primer is one of those things that you've got to really try and test quite a lot and I feel like this primer is actually really good I do really like the L'Oreal Pore, Perfect, Pore Perfecting Primer as well the one in the pink tube I do like that one as well but I think I like this one more I think I just feel like this one does a better job at keeping my makeup in place so I think I would choose this one over the other one. I can't even explain. I've been using this highlighter like constantly since I bought it. And it's the Amrezy, uh highlighter with Anastasia Beverly Hills. This highlighter, like, I can't tell you how much I love it. I mean, look how stunning it is. I mean, I don't know what it is about this particular highlight. But I really, it just looks so like blinding on the skin. And it's great for all skin tones. Like it looks good on me when I'm um, don't have tan, and when I have a tan, like it looks good both ways. It's just such a universal shade, and I just it's one of my favourite highlighters, and I've been using it constantly. If you don't have it, you need to go and get it. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to mention is a liquid lipstick. I mean, it wouldn't really be me without a liquid lipstick. I mean, I'm liquid lipstick obsessed, as you all know. It's pretty much all I wear, but um. Yeah, I I bought this, I think, a few months ago. But um, at first, I didn't really like it. At first, I thought oh, it was a little bit pink kind of thing. But um, that was when I was, like, my natural shades. Um, naturally, I'm, like, an NC20 in MAC. And with a tan, I'm, like, I'm an NC30. So when I bought this, I was, like, an NC20. And I feel like it just looked a bit off on me. It was very pink. So I didn't like it. I was like, mm. But now that I've got a tan, I'm actually wearing it on my lips right now. I love it. I now love it. I love it. I think some lipsticks look good on you, whether, like, so, there's particular lipsticks that look good when you're pale and some lipsticks that look good when you're tan. And I feel like this one right here, this is the Kat Von D uh, liquid lipstick in Ophelia. Is that how you say it? Oph Ophelia? Yeah. So now that I've got a tan, I just I just love it so much more. It is like a true pinky nude now, which is what I go for. And I really, really like this colour. So yeah, as you all know, I have mentioned before, my favourite eyelashes are the Coco Lashes Queen Bee. And I said that nothing will beat them until this day. I have discovered my second favourite pair of lashes. I know, it feels like I'm cheating on my Queen Bee lashes right now, but I recently discovered these and I really, really love them. They are, they are the House of Lashes uh, Iconic Light Lashes. These ones here. These are stunning. I really, really like these. Um, I'm not going to say they're similar to the Queen Bee lashes because... I mean, they've got their similarities, but I feel like this one, I'm actually wearing them on my eyes right now. If you can see. But um, these ones, they're like, they're like the Queen Bee lashes where they can be worn daytime or evening. So they're not too dramatic, but they're not too like subtle kind of thing. But I feel like these ones, they, they wing out more like outwards kind of thing. So they like lift your eye up. Whereas the Queen Bee lashes, they're more like wispy. And they're more like, more full, full going all the way around. Whereas these ones are more full on the outer corner, giving you that like that cat eye shape. And I think these these go really well with the winged liner as well. So yeah, I mean, I'm shocked. I didn't think I would love any other lash as much as I love the Queen Bee lashes. But, but these have become like my second favourite. And I need to get some more. And I've been wearing these quite a lot. I mean, I do still wear my Queen Bee lashes 100%. These ones are a lot more natural than the Queen Bee lashes. And these ones are really amazing as well. I really love both of them. And I can't say which one I like more because I love them both. But, um, yeah. So, that was my March beauty favourite. So, it was like a mix of skincare and makeup. Quite a lot of skincare because... In the month of March, I really was trying to experiment with skincare and just find some products that will help with my skin because my skin has just been 
like so bad. The products I've been using have really like contributed into clearing up my skin and yeah I just I'm, I'm really I'm quite happy with the way like my skin is turning out now because before I never used to pay attention to skincare like it was always with me it was always like makeup make makeup but the thing is without a good base without a good without good skin your makeup is not going to look as good as it can look without like investing and trying out skincare because obviously whatever you put on top like depending on your skin you know you want you want you want your makeup to look good and without good skin like it's not going to look its best so i just really this year i've just really been like experimenting with different skincare products and just trying to find things that would help with my skin you know i might discover some more gems around maybe but um yeah so that's all the products I've been loving in March. Pretty much going into this month now, April. But um, yeah, so I hope you guys liked this video and don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.